Welcome to WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference here in Sharm el-Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Cecil McCain, who is the Director of Post and Telecommunications for the Ministry of Science, Energy and Technology for Jamaica. Cecil, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, I'd like to start off by just asking you a little bit about WRC 19. What are the kind of topics that are, are of most interest to you here and what's going to affect you most when you go home? Okay, so the, the, the topics of interest to Jamaica, the government of Jamaica, uh, topics relating to IMT, of course, um, the big topic here, and the satellite industry. Um, we, I believe they present the opportunities and challenges for small island states such as Jamaica um, as we seek to ensure that what, what, what would have we call digital inclusion for the entire island. Um, Jamaica, of course, is a small island, but quite very mountainous in places and so getting the type of telecommunications infrastructure in to the interior of the island sometimes can be challenging so we have to look at all the various technologies that would give support to ensure that all our people uh, can benefit from having digital inclusion um, through whatever the means are either wired wireless satellite as the case may be. And what do you feel most confident in at the moment in terms of the technologies? You know, I'm, I'm on the side of what's the most efficient, cost effective. Um, so whichever the technologies that are present currently, uh, the majority of the island is covered by mobile broadband, uh, like much of the world. Um, so we hope that that technology in and of itself, um, in terms of mobile broadband, would be able to take the technology to as many people as possible. Um, we're also looking at satellite broadband in and of itself to, to catch that last mile, to catch those persons who go off-road into interior areas where you have no network. And so we, we, we can look at various, the opportunities that the various technologies present us um, as it relates to the various technologies. In, in terms of robustness and, and affordability as of well? Course, of course, of course, of course. And, and what about in times of uh, climate uh, emergencies, etc.? Certainly, and for small island states. We're, we're in the Caribbean, and uh, natural disasters is very regular. We, we, we regularly have hurricanes um, which passes through the Caribbean, and they affect Jamaica like every other Caribbean country on a regular basis and their impact can be quite traumatic um, in an instant. Um, as a result, we are quite vulnerable as a small island state, and so the technology itself can assist us not only with early warning, um, but also in terms of recovery and coordination. And so we see the work that is being done here as adding to that value, giving opportunities to ensure that we recover and we can mitigate as quickly as possible against these disasters as they occur. We also are in an earthquake zone, not as bad as you know, Southeast Asia, but we are also vulnerable to hurricane as um, earthquakes as a natural disaster. So there are the things that we are concerned about, uh, primarily hurricanes, earthquakes, about all natural disasters, of course, can be, we are concerned about. Of course, the common disaster that are uh, sneaking up on us is, of course, uh, sea level rise, um, an issue that we have to also be concerned with because uh, much of the country, and certainly the population, um, is at low altitude levels, um, close to sea level. And so any significant sea level rise will certainly um, have a significant impact on our population. And so we have to be concerned about those issues and examine ways in which we can mitigate, using, of course, the technology um, as it presents us. And, of course, WRC is going to be looking at various technologies to support, um, support those items, in particular the studies that are being done on the Agenda Item 10, which um, at the end of the day will hopefully, 10 years in the future, um, help us to um, get a greater understanding of this planet that we live on and ways in which we can make it uh, more habitable for all of us. I was going to ask you, in terms of ICU study groups, how vital are they to uh, countries such as Jamaica? Uh, very, very. You know, one of the things that, um, that the ITU through the WRC presents, it presents an opportunity for, for, for through the study groups, for there to be harmonization in terms of the technologies. Um, for us to discover ways in which 
we can regulate the technology in a better way. And it therefore, in, in doing so, it allows for small countries, developing countries, to use these resources in a different way. As we seek to go towards um, digital inclusion, the, the cost of technology, of course, is going to be lowered because of this harmonization. And therefore, it is more cost effective for countries like ours to implement technology to support our development. And so what we now need to do as a country um, is to focus on the other side of the equation, the demand side. How do we provide our population with the skills, with the knowledge to use broadband technology, which is the main driver at this point in time, so that we can achieve digital inclusion? So those are where we can focus our technology to ensure that our youth, early childhood, uh, secondary and primary education, even up to the tertiary level, that over the next 10 years we properly phase our educational system such that the population and the majority of the population in the future would be able to take the opportunities that ICTs present as they come. What outcomes will make the most difference to you at the end of this conference? Um, the harmonization, certainly. The harmonization of, of frequencies. Um, the, the cost of technology is certainly um, high for for us and so uh, being able to ensure that uh, the, the, the devices, user devices themselves are cost effective for the everyday user. The, you know, the internet revolution has pushed um, services to the edge and so we now have devices at the edge of that, um, at the edge, which has to be cost effective for us to use. Um, and so it is one of the things that I believe as an outcome that as we look at the future, the harmonization efforts will ensure that devices, the cost of infrastructure are lowered such that it is easy to be introduced into our populations and that we can all benefit um, to the extent that is possible from what technology presents us, the opportunities that technology presents us. Well, Cecil, thank you very much for sharing your, your insights and your perspectives here at WRC19, and we wish you the very best and hopefully the very best outcome from this conference too. Okay, and thank you for having me. Thank you.